Hey everybody, hope you all are doing well. Welcome to our advanced English vocabulary class and this is the lesson 10 of our advanced English vocabulary class. The first word of our today's lesson is equipoise. Equipoise means a situation in which things are perfectly balanced, a balanced situation, an evenness or um, equal, um, uh, giving equal importance to everything. A hint to memorize this word is equipoise, equation, position. If we have to balance an equation, we have to perfectly balance the equation. Uh, you have seen the, uh, the balanced equation or simultaneous equations in which there is a sign of equal in between two variables or two quantities and we have to equalize both of them. That's a perfect example of equipoise. The examples are, there is in the artist landscape a delicate equipoise between the natural and the man-made. This means that the uh, artistic diagram or the product that the artist made, it has an equal quantity of both the man-made and the natural uh, beauty or it was in between both of them. Our next word is demure. Demure means to express disagreement or refuse to do something. To object something, to show protest against something, it's known as demure. Or to denounce something. To memorize this word, uh, demure, dear murder. Everyone will disagree with murdering a deer. They will not agree in murdering an animal like deer, so they will demure. The examples are, the lawyer requested a break in the court case, but the judge demurred. The judge, he protested that uh, the uh, court case should continue and uh, there shouldn't be any break. And he was used to being obeyed without demur. This means that nobody can denounce uh, whatever he says. The next word is entangle. Entangle means to cause something to become caught in something such as a net or rope, uh, intervene, involve, or implicate anything in between something. You can also see in the diagram that a man he has been entangled in uh, ropes, so he is basically he is involved or he is implicated in between them. Entangle resembles with interangle. When you get into the material that has angle structures, you will get caught inside them. You will be entangled in it. The examples are the dolphin had become entangled in with the fishing net. You can also see in the illustration that a dolphin, uh, it had been entangled in a net. Uh, that part of their individual universe will not entangle. The next word is Transgression. Transgression means the act or the process of breaking a law or a moral rule. To, to uh, show offense against any uh, law, to do uh, or to commit a crime or to commit a sin. The, uh, the hint is tra uh, transgression, transfer, aggressive. When someone transfers into an aggressive person, they will break the laws. They will uh, commit crimes, they will show offense against every law, they will not follow the law, so they will have a uh, transgression or transgressive behavior. The examples are, adolescence is a period marked by a fascination with the transgression of rules. In the adolescence, most of the uh, uh, people they, or the children, they basically they show offense against every rule or they break the rules. And they... Uh, find this thing fascinating. This is our original sin, the bitter root of all our actual transgressions in thought, words, and deed. The next word is adjunct. Adjunct means something added or connected to a larger or more important thing. Uh, to uh, add anything something that is being added or the supplement is basically known as adjunct. Adjunct uh, resembles with add a junction. Adding a junction to a big railway station, so we basically we uh, add something, we supplement, provide a supplement. You can also see in the illustration that an adjunct or a junction uh, is being added in the railway track. 
The example is I hoped I would find the computer course a useful adjunct to my other studies. This means that I hope that the, my computer course it would be a supplement or it would help me in studying other courses.